Hello everyone and welcome to the Bible Study Channel. Today we're going to cover Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4 through 6. Having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Before we get started, I want to lay the background. In verse 4, it says Christ is superior to angels. Most modern Christians know this. However, at the time of the writing of Hebrews, the Jews held angels in high regard. This was because they knew that God delivered the Old Covenant through angels. Unfortunately, some Jews started to worship angels, which led to what was called the Colossian heresy. The person would claim to have direct revelation from God and then insist on asceticism and angel worship. The writer of Hebrews would make his argument to why Christ was superior to angels. Colossians 2.18 Let no one disqualify you, insisting on asceticism and worship of angels, going on in detail about visions, puffed up without reason by a sensuous mind. This was the Colossian heresy. Now back to verse 4. A more excellent name. Jesus has always existed. He had to take on human nature, making himself a little lower than the angels. After he accomplished redemption from sin, he was exalted back to his high position, which makes him superior to angels. Philippians 2, 9-11 Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now the writer of Hebrews would quote from the Old Testament seven times for his argument. This is very similar to a rhetorical question. So the answer implied is no. Verse 5. You are my son. The writer quotes from Psalm 2-7 and 2 Samuel 7-14. Let's read again verse 5. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Clearly, the implied answer is no angel. This also points to the unique relationship between the father and the son. Verse 6. The writer quotes from Psalm 97, 7. Notice the term firstborn. Some groups point to this as evidence that Jesus Christ was created or only a created being. However, this is untrue. The word firstborn here actually alludes to a chosen one or highest rank. Notice also in verse 6, the angels are commanded to worship Christ. If Jesus Christ was only a created being, worshiping him would be idolatry. Jesus Christ is fully God and fully man. Only God can receive worship. Luke 2, 13 and 14. And suddenly... There was with an angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Now it's time for the application and conclusion portion. 
The first way Jesus is superior to the angels is his special relationship with God. He is called the Son of God. No angel can say that. The second way is in worship. No angel or creature receives worship. Only Christ receives worship. Today, this is a great reminder to us, including me, to search our hearts to see if anything has been made superior to Christ. Luckily, we have a good superior Christ that can help us in need and give us hope.